What's up, everybody? Ben Renzi here for Odd Chopper. Good morning. Happy Thursday, October 10th in the sports world. The week rolls on. College football, NFL is back. MLB playoffs have been fantastic. How about those Mets? Uh, NHL is beginning. A lot to get to, and that's why I'm glad you're here. We're putting a bet on the board. We're going to sort through all of that. Give you a single bet, hopefully a winner. Set the tone for a profitable Thursday. I want to welcome you to the channel. All things betting from picks to tools to process. If you like what you see, take a look around, of course. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to hit a like for this video, it goes a long way for me. I really do appreciate it. Yesterday, I appreciate Jacksonville State just scoring at will. Uh, I knew New Mexico State wasn't going to give us much. They gave us enough. Game went over pretty comfortably, honestly, and we just keep it rolling with these totals and just in October in general. It's been a really steady run. We'll take it. We'll just keep banking the winners, keep banking the units. Hopefully, you have been tailing, and hopefully, honestly, you've been inside the ropes at tails. If you don't know what tails is, it's part of our experience at Odd Chopper. It's the marketplace where you can get more access to people like me, other people that you see that you enjoy. You want more picks. You want more insight. You want the ability to sweat together. It's all there. Right here, I just brought it up. My code, JazzRaz50, the link is below. You can come in for a week. You can come in for a month. I would love to have you in there. It's not just about getting more picks. It's about being able to talk through things, sweat games, ask questions, all of that good stuff. It syncs right from the app into the Discord. Just brought up the Discord here. Obviously, yesterday, it's easy to show this. We swept the board. Doesn't always work like that. I want to be clear. But it does work where you're in here no matter what. Being able to talk through bets, have fun, ask questions. That's what it's all about. So if you want to see this for yourself, again, that link is below. Come on in. Get four bets instead of one. Be part of a community. Really learn and hone your process. Tell them the process right now because we need to put a bet on the board and keep this rolling. And as much as I'd love to go to Thursday Night Football, I'm going to the if it's broke uh, or if it's not broke, don't try to fix it mentality. I'm going to another total. Sorry, but I've hit a bunch of these in a row and I like these totals. I spend a lot more time on them. Coastal Carolina and James Madison tonight. A sneaky good game over 16 and a half at minus 110 on FanDuel. So let's talk about these teams. It's not going to be the same as the last couple. The last couple have been pace spots. You know, this is not a bad pace, but it's certainly not driving it. You look at Coastal Carolina, they're around 100th. They're not a, a very fast team by any stretch. They run the ball a lot. This is draining the clock, but they're very successful at what they do. They have a potent rushing attack. They don't play any defense whatsoever, particularly against the run, but they just don't play any defense. So they're four and one on the year. That's great. They give up 37 points to Old Dominion, 43 points to Virginia, 20 points to Temple, 21 points to William and Mary. That's an FCS school and 27 points to Jacksonville State. Now they won a bunch of those games, the majority of those games. It just shows their offense is rolling as well. They just don't play any defense and I don't even care about them. They're not supposed to be driving this anyway. Nine and a half points. We certainly need them to chip in, you know, in the 20s at least. But it's not like James Madison can't do this by themselves almost, given what they've been doing. They're averaging 45 points a game. They just lost a game. They're 4-1 and one as well. They've been doing crazy things all year. They hung 70 on North Carolina. They followed up with like 60 against Ball State. I don't have it in front of me. A lot of points in those games. They go to Louisiana Monroe, a pretty bad team. And they lose 21-19. to 19. You're looking at that and you're saying, what the, how, how, A, how does that happen? And B, why are we backing this team to score a bunch of points here? So I dug into that box score. And this is just what happens sometimes. In that game, James Madison, they had a fumble. They had four turnover on downs where they went for it on fourth down and did not get it. Three of those were in the second half. That's where all the points went, right there. If that happens again tonight, we're going to lose. If it doesn't, though, you're going to see them get right back to business where they're hanging 40 plus points in these games, high potent offense. They're second in the country in takeaways. They're top 15 in the country in both passing and rushing yards per attempt. It's a balanced, really, really good offense. They play faster too, top 50 in tempo. James Madison brings this pace up. James Madison brings these points. James Madison and Coastal drive this over 60 and a half. If you have any questions about anything at Jazz Raz Bets, on X, on Twitter, whatever we call it these days. Happy to help there. And of course, I'm in my Discord all day with all the great members talking about these games, answering questions. So I'll see you guys in there. Again, the link is below. Take a couple of minutes, even just if you're not ready to sign up, click on the link and, and learn about kind of what's going on in there so you're ready when the time comes. But if we keep this rolling, I might have to do something crazy on this video, maybe a cool giveaway or something because the dice are hot. I really hope we can keep it steady. That starts tonight with Coastal and James Madison. Thanks again for tuning in, everyone. 
good luck on all your wagers, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.